the game is changing so dramatically. The power balance is changing. I mean, it's a cliche to say that, that knowledge is power, but it's true. If you really understand in incredible detail what someone is doing, how they're reacting to a situation, you can compare that to huge bodies of data that then tell you how that person will behave and react. One of the most uh, fascinating, for example, is that there was a study at MIT that found by monitoring the pattern of friend formation on Facebook, they could figure out that a young man was gay before he knew. Um, you can tell from the way people are responding to situations whether, you know, if you know they suffer from depression, whether they're currently in a depressive episode or not. You can predict someone's voting patterns from their music playlists. So when you combine that with uh, the ways in which you can buy, you know, if you send someone uh, advertising coupons and you know from past history that they'll always respond to a two-for-one offer but they'll never respond to a 10% price off offer. You know how they respond to situations. And so when you combine all that, uh, advertisers can go beyond uh, just saying here's you know, a new brand, this brand is better for you than the other brand. They can actively persuade you to do things which in other situations you wouldn't do, you know, to change from a healthy to an unhealthy but more profitable product. Or if political parties start playing this game, and I must admit, political parties are way behind the pace compared to the advertising industry when it comes to this, but they could persuade you quite individually uh, to their policies. And you may not necessarily agree with it, but they know how to explain it to you in a way that will cause you to agree with it. Now, the reason why that all becomes concerning is that the vast majority of us as individuals have no idea how this works. We have no idea even much of the time that it's happening. And, and so when you get this kind of revolutionary change in the power balance between individuals and organisations and governments, who's going to end up winning and losing here? And, you know, at this stage, we're at the very beginning of this process, but we as individuals primarily don't know what's going on. So that's why it's a concern.